company law is the core subject for the company secretary course a company secretary is expected to be an expert in the companies act of 2013 and generally in company law as a whole now to do well in company law there are many ways in which you can study and many ways which you can present but to give you one secret success we have preeti of excel academy who scored 60 plus in company law and she has shared her answer script and we will be discussing that answer script in this video and you will get ideas on how to write to get 60 plus in your cs executive exam in company law paper the way she has presented is exactly what we are told in the class and this is the secret to her success now let me tell you clearly just by watching this video you can't get 60 plus preeti has worked hard for many months and we have seen her hard work and that hard work she has translated into the answer script by writing the perfect answers which is expected from icsi and the examiners at icsi this video will help you to also present your company law paper in the best way and who knows even you can get 60 plus i hope these tips will help you at excel academy we always want to support students and we also have lot of free courses on our website excelacademy.com or our android app excel academy online you can download these and get access to this completely free of cost of course if you want to join the classes that's a separate thing you can get in touch with us on whatsapp and even if you don't want to you have any doubts you want to know something you have any support which you need for your cs exam we always provide a free one to one counseling there is a link in the description box you can just message us on whatsapp and we will get back to you no matter what you need now without wasting more time let us get into the answer script where preeti has scored 60 plus in company law i'm sure you will get many ideas on how you too can score 60 plus in company law let's dive into the paper as i was telling you in the introduction this is company law and how the student has scored 64 marks in company law as you can see marks for rationalization is 4 marks which is added though the mark scored is 60 so what is this rationalization marks when the paper correction is very strict where the paper correction is very strict that time what they will do is they will see the average of the entire papers and based on that the extra 4 marks or 5 marks or 8 marks based on rationalization they will get so if the student has got 60 marks in the strict correction itself that means it's a very very good answer sheet so let us try and understand so i am telling you this paper is equal to 70 plus 70 plus that is the kind of marks you can get so the student here has gone to question number 4 as the first in company law let us see what is the question let us see what is the question rohan is a well known banker and holds 22 directorship so his one person is director in 22 companies company include 10 public company 11 private company and one company registered under the section 8 charitable company 20th december abc limited in which rohan is not a director acquired 100% in mnp limited in the context answer the following so they given some cases and they are given a scenario whether directorship held by rohan on 30th september are valid so can rohan be director in all these companies can rohan continue to hold directorship in all 22 companies company secretary has proposed restrict in the directorship where proposal given by company secretary is tenable actually in the third question you are getting some clue for the first and second question so let us see how the student has written okay so as you can see over here the student has written first facts of the case so writing about rohan where is the company etc next is about the provision so talking about section 165 so individual can be appointed as director in not more than 20 companies etc so maximum is 20 companies that limit so the student knows the law that has been identified in dormant companies shall be excluded so when we say dormant companies we don't have to count it so in the conclusion yes directorship held by rohan on 30th september is valid as he had directorship in 10 public companies and 10 private companies directorship in dormant company and section 8 company so we don't have to count that dormant company and the 
Section 8 company which is there. Next, Rowan can continue the directorship in 22 companies. So that is the question. It is given as wrong. And then for the third question also, company secretary of ABC Limited to restrict the number of directorship is tenable because only number of directorship has right to restrict. So the examiner is telling wrong. But because the first part is correct, they have given two marks for this particular question. So as you can see, this is a five marks question and two marks has been scored by the student. So don't think if some question, some part of your answer is wrong, they will cut marks for everything. That is not the case. Okay, let us go to the next question, which is 4B. So 4B is again a case law question. Raman is a director in Mega Limited, a company is engaged in the business of selling mineral water. Rohini, who is wife of Raman, is partner of Total, a partnership firm. And they are selling the juices. Raman also owned 100 shares in Zimba Private Limited, a company engaged in manufacturing bottles. Board of Directors of Mega Limited intends to grant loan to Total, that is a partnership firm, and Zimba Private Limited. Within limits I specified as per Companies Act. So, within the limits. Now, what you have to do is whether Mega Limited can grant the loan. If yes, what are the conditions? So, this is all about inter-corporate loans. So, first thing you should know which chapter and what are they trying to ask. So, the student is first giving the facts of the case. So, what is the facts? So, Raman, Roini, what is their relationship, everything. Next is what is the law? After facts, we study what is the law. So, as per the section 185, what is it? So, a company cannot advance loan, represent by book debt, provide the guarantee. So, the law has been clearly mentioned. However, the exceptions, then the student is telling about exceptions. See the flow, what I really like and I want you to uh, get ideas for you to write the answer is the flow of the answer is what you should learn from this answer ship answer script okay so advance the loan what are the exemptions is there next very clearly private company what is the provision relating to private company so what are the following conditions where if you fulfill you can go ahead and pass a special resolution so that has been told. Then the company signifies the loan for its principal objectives. The company is taking the loan for principal objective. So what is the conclusion given by the student? Mega Limited may advance the loan to Zimba Limited but is prohibited to advance loan to Miss Total, a firm as it remains wife and partner of the firm. So entire four marks has been given. So, for 5 marks, 4 marks has been given. Next, Board of Directors of Charity Limited want to understand applicability of provisions of CSR and companies required to constitute CSR committee, inform the board. So, the question is about section 135 CSR and we should inform the board about the applicability. So, these kind of questions you can also start saying that to the board of directors and you can start the answer that is better of course you can also directly say as per provisions that is not wrong but see the, what are they asking you they are asking you inform the board so you can inform the board you can write to the board of directors charity limited you can definitely start writing like that to the board of directors charity limited so as per the provisions of section 135 what is the provision so, net worth, net profit, so turnover, provision is given. So, any one condition should be satisfied. Okay, then they are talking about the committee, the CSR committee, because in the question about CSR committee has been asked. So, about the CSR committee. CSR committee, who will be there? At least three directors. So, all this has been mentioned. So, finally, you are getting 3 marks. You are getting 3 marks out of 5 marks. Why? Why you are not getting 5 marks? 
so the applicability has been told and the constitution of csr committee some more points could have been added that is why they have given only 3 marks and some csr rules could have also been added by the student that is the reason approval of audit committee to related party transaction can be granted by passing circular resolution discuss that is the question so that question has not been attempted by the student student is directly going to 5a 5a let us go ahead 5a 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 so 5a question is telling vasu is independent director in various companies and he seeks your opinion regarding presence of independent director in different types of committees advice so this is all about independent director then code of independent directors and most importantly what is the specific doubt which is there in this question it is what is role of independent director in the committees different committees of the board so independent director and board committees both this knowledge you need to have so read the question identify the keywords once you identify keywords then plan the answer then write it that is how you should go ahead with it so as per section 149 what are the independent directors so every listed company so when we need independent director so student has beautifully told about it then every listed company should appoint etc student did not know more about it so only one mark has been given so that is why i am telling write how much ever you know if you don't know full answer it's okay but see what has been written one mark has been scored over there all right next let us go to the second question logic limited wants to remove radhika company secretary of the company explain the procedure so there is a company who wants to remove a company secretary we need to give the procedure for that so logic limited in remove the in the company secretary of the company so what is the provision so in the provision i always tell even in my classes and that is very good our student here has written when they say provision please write in exam steps the procedure whenever they ask you procedure whenever they ask you procedure you write the steps step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 step 5 see here three marks has been scored because some more provisions had to be added that was not added but because it is given in step form it is good so i always tell that i make students write the answers i make students completely go by the companies act and the, all the tips what my tips i have told always it has worked out i even correct each and every students answer scripts in our mentorship program of excel academy and this makes me so happy when i see this that student has actually done in the final exam exactly like that so what are the steps to remove and three marks has been given so third one student has not attempted student has not attempted so zero marks will be there then fourth one can annual general meeting be called at a shorter notice would your answer be different if it were extraordinary general meeting so it is about notice and shorter notice section 101 of the act so i always suggest whenever you write no like instead of this you can write here 5a and then write for yes you have written on the top 5a that is good but i am requesting every student don't do this so if you write please write the main question number in this left margin also please because sometimes the person correcting may get confused why do you want to lose marks for something so small so please add that please it's my request as per provisions of section 101 of companies act a general meeting of members can be called at shorter notice so what is the thing that 95% shareholders or people who are having the voting power they should accept so that provision has been explained that provision has been explained very clearly then how do you take the consent then the conclusion see what is nice is the flow again i'm telling you the flow is very nice in company law in this answer script annual general meeting can be held at shorter notice 
the answer should remain the same even if the case of extraordinary general meeting very beautifully presented the simple sentence english is so simple there is no complication here see please connect the question and answer this is a mistake students are doing and that is why i wanted to show this answer script how excel academy student has done the right thing would your answer be different if it were extraordinary general meeting they asked the question you need to answer in the same language the answer would remain the same even if they call extraordinary general meeting what question is asked you should tell that somebody will ask what did you have for breakfast you will tell i my house is in chennai my house is in bangalore i am from mumbai i am asking you what did you have for breakfast so answer exactly what question is there so please don't think why this teacher is telling like this but i don't want students to suffer that is my main reason so next question board of directors of passion limited has passed board resolution for the following examine validity of resolution as a secretarial auditor of the company so secretarial auditor of the company you have to examine the validity and this question is also four mark so as you can see 5a so we are having in 5a we have totally five questions and every question is for four marks each four marks each so it's a 20 marks question so if you see question number 5 if you see question number 5 5 also if you see a b c d e that is also four marks each 20 marks so you can write either 5 or 5a in this the student has chosen this so board resolution is there as a secretarial auditor so what should you do if you are a practicing company secretary and secretarial auditor of the company you have to tell the validity of resolution is the resolution fine invest the funds of company 15 lakh in abc mutual fund remit give time for repayment of debt due from director invest in trust securities the amount of compensation received when we did a merger amalgamation to take over company and controlling stakes so these are the questions so what you should tell whether this resolution is valid or not as a secretarial auditor so the board has passed the resolution see here so nice exactly what i told in class student is doing provision and analysis the clear analysis is given and also at excel academy apurva ma'am cacs apurva ma'am and myself alok we have made videos on how to write answers we even did some live sessions on youtube also on how to write answers in cs exam and so happy we may do it apurva ma'am may do i may do another faculty of excel can do but student has listened to it student has implemented and passed with high marks getting more than 60 plus it is simple that means it is not so difficult you just have to listen to the teacher and do your little hard work follow the basics keep it simple that's all you can go above 60 what is so difficult why, why are students struggling to get 40 they are not doing what is required they'll tell i'll do self-study all those things will not work out don't play with your life so nicely it is given here see provision and analysis student has written so nicely the resolution to invest the funds of the company is valid so validity is there then what is the next point here it is invalid so it's a special resolution is passed in general meeting then going further the student has given very clearly third point it's invalid third type then it is valid so very neatly told for four marks three marks has been scored by the student next question number two so here these things i will tell you to avoid so please like very clearly write it to or is it to a i don't want any confusion like this so please be very careful and as i told you here also be very careful in what you are writing just don't write a write to a what is the, there to lose so please uh, write that very very properly and also you observe you know, in this entire paper what is very great 
which we used to tell in class. See, we can tell in class, but student has done in exam is sections. You should write as many sections as possible and that is the need of the hour. That is the need of the hour. Okay. So, let us go ahead and try to understand here. Satisfaction of charge. So, as a company secretary, explain the procedure for satisfaction of a charge. That is the question which we have. And it is a three marks question. As you can see, it is a three marks question each. Okay. So, student is telling the section number very good. And the procedure for satisfaction of the charge. So, within 30 days, what you will do? So, everything has been explained. See here, three marks is given. Three out of three. Simple. The best part is the way the student has ended the answer. After ROC verifies, it shall record the entire memorandum of the satisfaction of charge in its register and will issue the memorandum of satisfaction to the charge to the company. It is 100% practical knowledge. It is not just theoretical knowledge. This is what is required. Even the form number has been added. There is no choice. You have to give three marks. That is the beauty. Okay. Next. For three marks, see the quality of the answer. The quality of the answer is important. Books of accounts have been kept at registered office of a company. Give your comments. Can we keep books of accounts in some other place? That is the question which they are asking relating to 128. So, what I should not return? So, every company will keep the books of accounts registered office of the company. Okay. Now, company may also keep books of accounts in other place, provided that the board will intimate the ROC and they will file AOC 5 in 7 days. As a student writing this kind of answer, the person correcting is very impressed. Why? Because the number of days has been given, the form number has been given. The section number has been given. There only I am going to give 3 marks. Then answer is also correct. Perfect. There is no doubt to cut even half mark. See, this is what we tell in class. But when the student does, it is great. And that is why I want you to see it and analyze that this is how you should write. Of course, the classes and the teaching is the main reason and the student's hard work is the main reason why they know the content. But only content is no use. Presentation is important along with content and knowledge. So, your content is good along with that knowledge is important. Yeah. So, they have given a case law questionnaire. So, a certain company intends to acquire shares in another company. How much amount can be invested in Jupiter Limited without passing special resolution considering the facts mentioned below? So, without considering the fact mentioned below, we have to examine. Paid up capital, free reserve, securities premium account, etc. They have given the numbers. You have to examine. So, the facts has been first told. Then the provision of law. What is the law? Provision is what is the company's law? So, which is the section? 186 has been told correctly. Then what are the conditions has been told? Then the calculations has been done. See here can only acquire 84 crores. Why? The note has been given. Calculation is given. 3 marks. So, it is very, very nicely presented. Next, only 2 marks has been given. Let us see the question. Okay. Santosh, CEO of company, advised board of directors of unlisted company that in order to market the public issue and generate interest and awareness amongst public, uh, prospectors can be issued without giving details of number of shares and issue price. Tell the correctness of the provision. So, CEO of company has advised board of directors something. Is that correct or not? So, advice is correct. So, first only you tell correct or wrong. When they ask the question correct or not, first you tell it is correct or not or true or false or yes or no. And give your answer. So, since the student didn't know the complete knowledge, she has written how much she knows. And two marks has been given. 
so please don't think if you know only half you should not write write whatever you know write everything you know they will give marks nothing for you to worry then student is going to question number 3 3 again i tell please add like this over here also 3a 3b like that so 3a student is not writing see here even without attempting for 100 marks even without 100 for 100 marks student has got 64 if you write correctly you will get marks you should have the right knowledge obviously to get the right knowledge attend the correct coaching classes and work hard both is required only self study will never work especially for company law kind of subject and we are ready to help you whatever help is there we are ready to help you if you join our classes next once you write that see even for attempting for around 85 or something 64 has been scored so it is about how well you write it so it is question number 3 b so we are in mm, 3 b so the board resolution was not uh, written by student so please try to study the board resolutions also you can definitely draft it in exam advise whether internal auditor is required to be appointed in the following scenarios do we need internal auditor in the following scenarios so they have given the scenarios paid up capital turnover etc and can the following person be appointed internal auditor they have given the question so you should know about section 138 very well so see here see here section number has been told that is the value of section numbers that is the value of section numbers so as i was telling you here first you write ans 3b that is answer 3b then you write the answer every listed company so what is the applicability first has been given and a beautiful table has been drawn here really great so who can be appointed ca ca uh, cma who is in practice and any professional as the board may decide so any professional means it could be even a cs whatever then the conclusion has been given very clearly for each of the questions in each of the scenarios see here what it can be done then dj may also be appointed president may also be appointed as internal auditor why because of this point any professional as the board may decide board may deem fit so everything has been presented really well four marks has been awarded for five marks four marks has been awarded that is great that is 80% for every five marks question you get four marks means that is 80 80 marks of course everything you can't get right but i'm just trying to tell you please remember there will be some questions you know there will be some questions that you don't know well again they've given one thing cfo is of the view that secretarial audit is mandatory for all companies he approached you to determine whether secretarial audit is applicable in the following companies so they've given the numbers hello jam and butter advise the cfo so what should you do advise the cfo so in such uh, questions i will suggest you to start by saying to the cfo and then you go dear sir madam whatever as per provisions then you start whatever you written so that will just add a little value it will just looks a little better that's all there's no mandatory provision but i am suggesting so as per section 1204 companies act then what is the applicability student has given very very clearly very clearly see this leaving line is also important in the way it looks please remember just by doing that you don't have marks see first is knowledge no doubt content correct after that is presentation don't think only presentation you will get marks never your knowledge is most important i'm sure you know that there is no doubt but along with knowledge presentation see leaving one one line gap here makes it look so presentable and so nice and easy and then the conclusion has been given so what is it secretarial audit is required for hello limited 
Secret order is required for jam limited as turnover is more than 250 crore. Even reason has been added. Very good. And for butter, it is required. They have given. But of course, the answer is wrong. So, four marks has been given. So, whatever is right, they will give you marks. Don't think they don't give. Four marks has been given. Very good. Then question number one. Question number one. Student has gone to question number one. Okay. Company law, question number one. Amount lying in securities premium account belongs to the shareholders and can be used freely for their benefit. So you can use security premium account for shareholders. That is the statement. What should you do? Comment. It is a five marks question. Okay. First is what? Very nicely student has given. The statement is partly true and partly false. So she is giving her opinion. Then is the reasoning. So how the reasoning? First is what is the law? Correct? So as per provisions of section 52. See even section has been added. So secret premium account can be used for what? So the reasons. So law has been clearly told. What it can be used for? So then... Therefore, statement that it can be used freely is false. So, it can't be used freely. It is treated as share capital of the company and not as profits. Hence, statement that it belongs to shareholders is true. So, totally four marks has been given because of the conceptual clarity. Concept is so clear for the student. And how does the clear concept comes? One is the right coaching and the second is your hard work in studies now you go for the best coaching no use no use if you simply go for coaching along with coaching what you study what is the hard work you do becomes more important so together you can get the concepts clear and when the concepts are clear our answers will be perfect answers will be perfect okay next we are going for a case law question. So, so and so person was alternate director of a company. Company was uh, demand notice for GST. Okay. Due to cash crunch, CEO approached Deva Priya for help because that is the director. So, she borrowed 7.5 lakh from sister's husband and gave the company. Company recorded in the books of account. Comment on the following. Can she do it? So, can she do it? So, first you should know the Provisions of Companies Act. So, even if you don't know section, you can write Provisions of Companies Act. So, if you take from relative, etc., what is the case? Amount shall be treated as a deposits. As given the amount to the company by borrowing from sister and husband. So, the answer should be that it should be the own fund not somebody else's fund director can give loan if it is a his or her own fund not from others fund so since it's not a completely correct answer one mark has been given so as you know i'm telling you even one mark can be given even if your answer is partly correct partly correct then directly student is going to one four every company is required to comply with disclosure of Sexual Harassment of Women Act Workplace in their board report. You need to comment. Posh. So, here, in such cases, no, don't start in the ending. Go to the next page. This is what I will suggest. Just go to the next, just cross it and go to next page and start the answer there. So, and also, please, always my suggestion, answer to 1D. Like that, you should write. It is easier because if your answer is right and we don't know which question, it becomes a problem. That time they can't give you the marks. So, company will disclose about the posh regulations. So, number of members in the committee, what all will be there to be disclosed. So, since here quality is there but little more quantity was required. Little more quantity was required. That is why only 3 marks has been given in this particular scenario then student is coming to question number six question number c answer to questions 
number six very clearly mentioned let us go to the question number six okay so and so company secretaries it is a pcs firm has sent a letter to foreign exchange department of rbi stating that the firm has three partners who specialize in foreign exchange and ask authority to include the name in the panel whenever formed comment the reference to provisions of the company secretaries act can they do it can company secretary firm go to rbi and tell them please include our name in your panel so as per the company secretaries act this will be not allowed because you cannot go solicit you cannot go and ask for work openly you cannot solicit see here solicit by advertisement etc is not allowed so that is the answer and two marks has been given so this is wrong see the student is writing it does not amount to professional misconduct but yes it does amount because you cannot go and solicit work to rbi or any so that is why the last portion the person is marked wrong but two marks has been given because the first part is correct first part is correct and already when the teacher who is correcting it is looking at this paper this is end of the paper so they know okay the student is having the knowledge maybe this last part is wrong that is why they have given the marks all right then another case law question is there relating to again the professional misconduct etc so same way student has even given the section number that is really uh, great and then the conclusion complete four marks has been given then one answer to one c what was left earlier that has been given dividend distribution policy three marks has been given then whatever again answer to 4d what student had left there three marks has been given then whatever she had not written earlier she is trying to attempt in then 5a that postal ballot form that has been given two marks has been given so finally the student has scored 60 marks and this is little strict correction okay that is why based on all the paper corrected they have taken an average all the papers corrected by that teacher and all the papers corrected by other teachers so this teacher's average is less that is why they have added four marks for rationalization so that is what we understood so finally 60 plus 4 for our rational c student has got 64 and without attempting for complete 100 marks so please remember if even in strict correction you write like this you will get 60 suppose correction is little not lenient but fair rationalized correction is rationalized so you'll get 64 or you'll get 64 to 68 marks so if you write like this this is possible so i request everyone to please look at this video and get a clear picture of how you can present and for anything else that you need excel academy is always there to help you you can download our android app excel academy online on google play store android app or you can also do a free sign up on our website excelacademy.com on our website we have many free courses please feel free to explore it see the quality of our free courses and if you want to join for classes or if you want any other help even if you don't want to join you want some help you want some counseling you need any help we want everyone to become a company secretary once you take the course that is our passion we are always there to help you so you can whatsapp us on the number which you can see 973-973-3400 we are always there to help you and this was the answer script of how you should write and how you can score marks so if an excel academy student who's just out of class 12 with the hard work and the coaching please i'm going to be very clear it is not just teacher 
more effort is by student student did the hard work teachers we did the teaching we gave the exam tips we gave the answer presentation tactics everything has been done and marks has been scored even you can do it so for more such videos subscribe to excel academy and stay in touch with us thank you and good luck to you